think it definitely affects the older ones more so. Um, like he said, you know, and each child is different. You realize that you need to spend some more time with another child. Mm -hmm. You might need to talk to another child. I like to observe them too. And I just see like uh, Simeon has, is home, so he spends the most time with Rachel. And when she's getting her therapy and she's crying, he'll tell her, stop that. Come on now, you can do it. <laughs> you know, at, at three, he used an encourager and her cheerleader, you know. And then I've got, you know, my second son, Joshua, and he's writing her a little note on Valentine's Day. You know, um, I love you. This is from your big brother to my sweet little sister, you know. And um, just recognizing that he's like, oh, yeah, let's not forget about her, you know. And, mm -hmm. and then there's my Abby, who she thinks she's her little doll, Rachel. So <laughs> she's decorating her hair, headbands and clips. And I'm like, oh, you're trying to make Rachel beautiful. And she just gave me this strange look like, Mommy, she's already beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, I stand corrected. Mm -hmm. I was thrilled that she um, saw her that way, you mm -hmm. know. Um, so I think the power of observation is sometimes you don't have to push it with kids, you know. Mm -hmm. They'll let you know what they're feeling and thinking. And you, if you're paying attention, you'll pick up. Mm -hmm. so.